Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you've had a good weekend. And I know all of our prayers are with everyone that was touched by the hurricane. It was a devastating thing for so many places. And my heart goes out to everyone that has been touched. We were slated to get a lot of rain and really bad wind here in my part of Virginia. We were lucky. We did get over four inches of rain, but the extreme wind didn't show up. And John and I prepared as well as we could to keep water from rushing down from the back part of the yard down to the patio because if we have tons and tons of rain at one time in the past, our downstairs has leaked. But it hasn't in, I don't know, probably at least four years. And thank the Lord this time we didn't have any problems at all. And I'm thankful for the rain. But as I said, my prayers are with all of you that have been touched by the hurricane. And I know all of y'all feel the same way. I want to thank y'all for coming over and watching both of the collabs that I took part in. Y'all know I'm not comfortable on camera, and maybe in time I'll get better at that, but uh, it's not my comfort zone. So I guess I got out of it a little bit uh, with those two uh, videos. So, But I do thank y'all for watching and commenting, and I got some new subscribers, so I'm grateful for that too. So today I'm going to show you a big part of John's Noisemakers. The predominant makers on most of these that I'm going to show you are Kirchhoff and U.S. Metal. And I think one of the oldest ones he has is, I believe it's 1918 was the patent date. I'll show you that one and I'll try to get close enough so that you can see the patent date. But these range from that date um, to the 40s, 50s, and 60s. On most of these I believe so I hope you enjoy seeing them I know a lot of people love old noisemakers and for me and John it brings back wonderful memories of our childhood and there were even some noisemakers when our kids were born in the 60s so lots of good memories of Halloween fun as children and as a mom and dad so let's get started over here there were many styles of noisemakers you know, there was the ones with the clappers that you shook them and they made noise. There were ones that you twisted. There were the barrel types. And there were ones that you wound up. And then there were clickers. And horns. And this is another style here. So John has always really loved noisemakers, so he was lucky enough in the past to get a pretty good collection of them. I'm sorry for the glare on them. So let's get started over here. John's always loved the smiley cats, and so he has quite a few of the ones with the cats. And this one here is one that's a little harder to get. I'm trying to turn it so the glare is off of it. They're the dancing people, and you can see the moon and the owls and the pumpkin face, all the pretty things in it, and it is great color. And another thing, John always tried to get the noisemakers in as good a shape as he possibly could because that affects the value. Look at the graphics on them. That's what's so wonderful is all the graphics. And on this one, see that? And let me see, right here, you can see Kirchhoff, Newark, New Jersey, USA. Look at the cat and the pumpkin. More cats. And like I said, this one winds up and it makes a really loud noise. Almost like a siren type of noise. And this one right here, that's U.S. Metal Toy Manufacturing Company, made in USA. We have a lot of vintage toys that are made by U.S. Metal. But the graphics on these things are what are so wonderful. Let me see if I can pick this one up. 
it's not Mark, but look at the wonderful graphics. They're at a party and they're dipping for apples. Just so much fun. Now this one right here, this is the Flying Witch. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. That's really loud. Let me see if I can get this over here. Hard to get that. Okay, up here. Patented February 22nd, 1918. So this is a really, really old one. And to be that old, it's over 100 years old. Can you believe that? I have a hard time believing that sometimes. More of the barrel. This one was a little bit considered risque in a day. Because you have kind of the pinup type witch. There's a smaller horn like one of the ones we had downstairs. This is another U.S. Metal toy company with the owl. Let me pick that up. Maybe it won't be as bad of a glare. See, this was U.S. Metal. And just look at that. This one is in such good shape. can't read the price on it. It's kind of glared. I love this one with all the different pumpkin faces on it. The witch back there, it's the same style as the one I just showed you, the back, U.S. Metal Company. This one right here, that's another great one that's hard to find. And look at that kind of evil looking witch back there. And this series here with the witch, this was called the Harlequin series. There's lots of different pieces that kind of have the Harlequin patterns on them. And this was U.S. Metal. It's under the end, so you can't really see it. I'm sorry I'm not doing a great job of filming these, but with the glare, it's really hard. I like this one with the cats and the moons. And I think one has slid down behind there. Let's see what this one is. That's the cat sitting on the fence. There, maybe you can see them better. But this is a fun collection. You can still find some of these on eBay and all. And every once in a while, you can get a good buy on them. And sometimes they'll sell a lot of them together. And you get a better price sometimes like that. I have another box of noisemakers that I'll show you at another time. But I thought you might enjoy seeing some of these old treasures from the past. Things that a lot of us used when we were children. And a lot of y'all, I know y'all are way too young for that, but this is a bit of a nostalgia for us that have a little age on us. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon with another video. Enjoy every moment of your day, and I know all of y'all will be praying for those that have lost loved ones in the hurricane, have lost their homes, some people have lost everything, so let's continue to lift them up in our prayers. Love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. Till the next time, bye-bye.